How's she going right there, eh? It's Denis here from Denis Lowe's Outdoors. Back up at the wood lot. Um, actually got my multi-lander wood mills uh, log slash dump trailer. Um, I got it loaded up with a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm actually going to throw all that stuff out here shortly. I'm going to take the box off and then I'm going to put my log pickets up and uh, up here I got my old four-wheeler with me. I got to collect a bunch of logs that I cut this winter that I just have on the side of the road so I can use, uh, use them here for my uh, corduroy road to continue um, heading to the off-grid cabin site. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, I was in here yesterday with the tractor. A bunch of the fresh deer tracks. I ditched out the spot where I'm going to put my culvert in. Anyhow, the deal is, is right here where I'm standing right now, where I filled in, I have to uh, put logs going across this way, perpendicular to the road. And you can just barely see them. There's a couple of cedar log skitters. There's three of them in here. So in the process, usually I put, I put tree boughs down first, put the skitter logs down, fill up to the top of those with dirt. Um, and then I lay my corduroy logs across. And that's what I'm going to get right now. I'll pick them up. I'll turn this back on when I got the dump off of the trailer and uh, I get the pickets up and uh, when I'm hidden to get the logs. All right, here, uh, stand by. Okay, so I get the dump box off. So basically all you do is un unhook it. The uh, front winch here actually hooks on, hooks onto the front of it. So you unhook that. There is two pins at the very back. So the pins go through both of these spots and then they lock right in. They lock right in this right here. So I gotta tighten that up actually. And there's the two pins right there and you just kind of push it, push it off and stand it up. So then when I'm ready to use it, once I'm done with getting the logs, Obviously, I'm going to put the box back on and uh, go get the tractor and start loading it and dumping gravel. So that's the plan right now. So right now I'm going to head up the road. I brought the, I got the chainsaw loaded up and gassed up. It's on the front of the bike. And uh, yeah, so like I said, I'll turn you back on when I get the, get it all loaded and I'm working my way back. All right, stand by. Okay, so I'm back here now. So this is the pile of firewood, or it's not firewood, it's a pile of uh, logs. And it's just crappy old softwood that wasn't any good, but this winter just up the road up that way, um, that's where I was cutting my firewood and widening the road. And uh, so I was cutting all my firewood and firewood length. I'd throw it in my big red dump trailer. And then any softwood that wasn't any good for firewood, I would keep in longer logs. And then um, I would, at the end of the day, I would dump it in one big pile right here. So the deal is I'm going to uh, pick it up, throw it on this trailer, and then bring it over to the uh, swamp where I'm gonna continue with my corduroy road. All right, here, stand by. Okay, I got all that loaded on. Uh, it's not like it's a huge pile, but that's all I had in that one spot. Um, what I'm gonna do, also I have some logs on the way back um, that I'll probably look at throwing some on. Get it all in one load. And uh, I kind of, I have to kind of do this in sections, so I'll, I, I don't want to stockpile too many logs 
right there at that one site um, so uh, what I'll do I'll see how far I get with this hopefully I get right to the culvert horsefly chewing on me um, some of the features of this uh, obviously these pickets right here um, there's a little pin that you pull out and you can lay them right down and that would be underneath the dump box um, there's a jack that goes right here I took it off because it uh, <clears throat> it gets caught sometimes and I'm scared that I'm gonna when I if I jackknife the trailer um, or the bike I don't want the tire of the four-wheeler hitting the tongue is actually rotates which is kind of a nice feature so that the trailer doesn't uh, have the tendency to want to flip over which I've had trailers do that with uh, when you're on the trail and then the, both of these wheels here are on a rocking beam so they, they every time you go over a, a log or a rock they pivot back and forth you know that's the kind of the deal and obviously it's got this kind of head thing here so that the logs don't go too far ahead and then these here are the ramps so these ramps actually connect right here with pins and uh, you're supposed to lay this all the way down and then if you had a large log right here and this winch comes off and the winch goes on to the opposite side and then you run the cable all the way out around the log and then attach it to the trailer and then you hand winch it and you can roll a large log right on top of the trailer with hardly any work and then you can drive it uh, what I do is my plan is I put it to the side of my mill and then you can hand winch it and roll it right off onto the mill. Someday I'm going to I'll well, do a video on that. I, the first time I tried it, uh, I did video it, but I didn't publish it because it didn't turn out very good. Obviously, it was the first time I was doing it. So I thought today I would video this part, loading some logs onto the log trailer part, and then um, loading uh, gravel onto the dump trailer. Anyhow, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll head back, pick up a few more logs, and then I'll back right into that spot and offload these. Alright, stand by.